Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Friday. It is July 12th, 2019. Uh, I'm going to kick this up so you can see the sky. We have rain coming. And you can kind of tell that it's going to be here. You can feel it in the air, which is okay. Nurse the Chickie's chilling. It is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So let's jump into topic today. We are going to talk about Tropical Storm Berry, which is soon to be Hurricane Berry. Okay? And what's going on and what is the effect of everything with that. So I wrote a bunch of information down. And uh, so we're going to get into this topic. Okay? So uh, anyway, I think I'm starting to feel some raindrops. We ha so let, let's lead up to what's going on right now. So it's looking like uh, New Orleans is going to get hit again. I feel bad for New Orleans, okay, because if everybody remembers in 2005 when Hurricane Katrina went through there and what Hurricane Katrina did to New Orleans, okay. Actually, that was my wake-up call, guys. That's when I became a prepper was in 2005 because as a father of that point of four-year-old twins, and, uh, well, actually, they didn't turn that until later, but, oh, look at that. I'm going to have to show you guys this in a second. But, um, so I became a father, you know, I was a father of four-year-old twins, and my stepson was 10 at the time, and I realized that we could not rely on the government to help us, that we had to help ourselves. So that was my wake-up call moment, if you will. And the twins were almost, you know, almost four at that point. So, anyway, I was going to show you this plant down here growing. I'm not sure what that one is, but uh, that is not a weed. So, anyway, <laughs> just threw that out there. So, anyway, we're going to, so what's leading up to, why is there so much issue um, with this hurricane? Now, this hurricane, uh, they're saying when it hits landfall, it just, it just had sustained winds now of 65 miles an hour. That's the latest update on that. And it's supposed to hit landfall tomorrow. It is moving at five miles an hour, and uh, over in the Gulf of Mexico. And they're saying that later tomorrow afternoon or evening, that is when it's going to hit. Okay. So, what what's leading up to this? What, why is there such a concern with this uh, with this hurricane? It's not the winds they're concerned about, guys. It's the rain. So let's let's lead up a little bit ahead of time, so we got some information of what's going on. The Mississippi River has been at flood stage uh, for 259 straight days. I'm not sure if a lot of people were aware of that because this year has been the wettest down there since they started recording everything in the, in the, um, in the last 125 years. So down in that area, they've had so much rain um, that it's just been incredible in that area. So it is the wettest year they have had down in that area, uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, you know, in that whole area down there, in 125 years. So that's that's the first thing. So the ground is saturated. Now we got to also take into consideration that a storm came through New Orleans on Wednesday, two days ago, and dumped nine inches of rain on New Orleans then. So they were already having flash flood warnings because of that already. Okay, so. Uh, the Earth, or the hurricane, when it becomes a hurricane, is supposed to be uh, a Category 1, possibly a Category 2 when it hits. Now, part of the problem with the, um, the hurricane, now you got to remember too, this is just the very start of hurricane season, guys, okay? So, things are probably going to get worse. They're, they're estimating there's going to be six major hurricanes this year, is what I, I, I read that information, okay? The Gulf is warmer than normal. The air temperature is warmer than normal. So for every Celsius higher, uh, it'll hold 7% more water in the atmosphere. Okay, so the hotter it is in the air, it's going to hold more water. And because of the warmer temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico for the water temperatures, it strengthens these storms even more. Okay, so that's, that's part of it. Now, like I said, again, the concern is that uh, with this storm, it's not the winds they're concerned about, it's, it's the rain. They're saying that there'll be 20 plus inches of rain in certain areas because of the storm. So now I want you to think about something real quick. The levees um, that they have around New Orleans uh, can handle up to a 20 foot surge 
uh, and in some spots up to 25 foot surges, okay? So they're saying right now that the Mississippi River is going to be, it's already, let me see where, where that information that I put down there, it's already, uh, by they're saying Saturday could be 19 to 20 feet the Mississippi River, okay? So that alone is going to test the levees alone because of the amount of rain and stuff like that. So they, uh, let's see, where was that? Okay, hold on one second. I just wanted to, um, yeah, so there's talking, it's, uh, that 20 feet or 19 feet is just below major flood stage for the Mississippi River, okay? So they're saying that it could be 19 to 20 feet once it peaks out here on Saturday, all right? So that's kind of scary in itself. Um, the store shelves in, in certain parts of New Orleans have already been cleaned out with water and stuff like that as of Wednesday because of the storm that they had come through there on Wednesday and dumped nine inches of rain. Now, because it's not a Category 3 storm, they're advising people to shelter in place because it's a Category 1. Um, it's voluntary uh, evacuations. If people do want to get out of there, they can. But you're talking about a tremendous amount of rain in a very short period of time. They're probably, and you know, so this is going to be realistically uh, the Army Corps of Engineers. This is going to be the biggest test on the levee system since Hurricane Katrina, all right, because of the amount of rain that they're going to be getting. And again, it's not the winds this time, it's the rain. So you've got a really warm Gulf of Mexico, you have really warm air temperatures, and the combination of that, they're going to have a tremendous, tremendous amount of rain. Uh, let's see, what else did I wanted to say? Uh, let's see. The Mississippi River is at its highest levels in nearly 70 years. So that, that's another part of it as well, okay? So, and with all the rain that they're expecting to get, like I said, they're going to be between 19 and 20 feet, which is just, you know, 19 feet is just below major flood stage. Um, Texas and Mississippi are also preparing, uh, they're t telling people to get ready for this because it's exact, they don't exactly know the path of the hurricane completely yet, but it's expected to hit in Louisiana, and uh, you know, so obviously Mississippi and Texas are probably going to get hit as well with a lot of this rain. Um, like I said, it's warmer than normal air temperatures, normal than war uh, uh, normal, uh, warmer than normal air temperatures, and normal than, uh, no higher than normal water temperatures as well. And like I said, it's the, the most rain down in that area, not from this storm, but this year that they've had in 125 years. So they're already completely soaked. They've had a tremendous amount of rain down there already. The Mississippi River is at its highest levels in 70 years already. So all these things are going to affect and, and take into play. And then when you have a storm coming in, even though it's not a Category 3 or a Category 4, dumping a tremendous amount of rain on everything is just going to make everything worse. So uh, this is definitely something that uh, you know people need to be ready for. Uh, hopefully, uh, my fellow preppers down in that area, you guys are all being safe. And you're ready, and uh, you know it's uh, it's a very scary situation. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention and, and kind of give you a little bit of the background of what's going on and why the air temperatures are where they are, um, and those type of things, and uh, you know how that all goes into effect everything with this storm. So kind of scary, kind of scary. So anyway, I'm going to be doing my live stream tonight at 8 o'clock, and we are going to be talking about Turkey just bought the S-400 uh, air defense missile system from Russia. They had their first delivery was today, and they're going to be having more deliveries within the next couple of days. So we're going to talk about all of that, what that means, what's going on over there with Turkey, and, uh, you know, are they our ally or are they Russia's ally? And I'm going to tell you what, it's like... I'm very, very impressed with Russia, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to talk about all that, what's going on with that situation over there, and uh, a lot of good information on that. So look for that tonight on my live stream at 8 o'clock. Uh, a little bit of background of what's going on, what's happening. Um, I'm not sure. You know, like I said, I got some great information for you guys on that whole topic and, uh, you know, and everything like that. So we will be talking about that tonight. 
at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time um, on my live stream. So definitely come in and check that out because I think it's going to be a really, really interesting topic. Uh, it'll be very, very cool. Um, like I said, I got a lot of really good information for you guys. A little bit of background, what's going on, what's going on with relations with the U.S., with Turkey, and also their relations with uh, Russia and stuff like that. So a lot of really, really good information, and uh, I think you'll find it enlightening. So very cool. So anyway, um, what was I going to say here? I'm just trying to think. Uh, so that's what's going on tonight. So anyway, um, the garden is actually freaking doing awesome here. The tomato plants are really starting to come in. Uh, I put in two different kinds of tomato plants, okay? So I put in uh, 12 tomato plants all together. And the six plants, the one kind of, um, the beefsteak tomatoes are doing really, really well. The other ones, not so much. So I don't know what the deal is with those plants. But uh, the one plants are doing great. And the other ones, like I said, are not, not doing so well. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. I wanted to mention real quick that uh, on my website, if you're looking to get together with like-minded people, we have the Prepper Nurse One community on my website. Again, totally free to join. It does not cost anything to join. So you can get in there, get pop, to meet like-minded people. The message boards are always blowing up in the chat, which is really, really cool. A lot of great information. And so that part of it is really, really neat. And uh, it's a great way to just get to know, like I said, like-minded people. And uh, so yesterday, uh, so anyway, like I said, and again, it's very private. So nobody can just come off the street and see what's going on. You have to be registered. But again, it's totally free. So if you're interested, go check that out. If you're looking to try to form a group in your state or just try to connect with like-minded people, that's the way to do it. I did want to mention again, and I'll do this in every video until we get to that point, we are doing a prepper get-together at Letchworth State Park, August 17th. Um, everybody's invited to come. I'm going to be providing hamburgers and hot dogs. So, um, you know, bring your own booze. And we're going to just get together a bunch of like-minded people and have a wonderful day um, in the park. It's going to be at Eddie's Pavilion. That's E-D-D-Y-S uh, Pavilion at the park. And it's just going to be a good time. Uh, we're going to have a really enjoyable day. So um, I do kind of want to get an idea of a head count because i got to know how much food I have to buy. Um, I'm asking anybody that comes to please bring a dish to pass to help with, you know, everybody else. So uh, I've already had quite a few people confirm that they're coming, which is very, very cool. Like I said, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've had people from Washington, D.C. that are coming. I just got that confirmation today. So I think that that's pretty cool. And uh, I uh, also have people from, let's see, Connecticut are coming. There's people from uh, Long Island that are coming. So, you know, like I said, anybody's welcome. I think we're going to have a great time. Uh, they do have camping at the park. You would have to call the park ahead of time to reserve a spot if you want to. Um, it does cost to get into the park. I just want to let people know that. I don't know the exact cost, but you can call the park and find out. Again, it's Letchworth State Park. So that's that. That's going to be August 17th. I'm really looking forward to doing that. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a really, really good time. It's a real nice pavilion. And so if it is raining, we're going to still have it because it's, it's covered and we can be inside because obviously we don't know what the weather is going to be August 17th. But most likely it's going to be hot. So there is swimming at the park as well. They have a huge pool. So if anybody wants to go swimming, they can go swimming. So like I said, guys, it's just going to be a lot of fun. And it's a beautiful park if you've never been there. Um, it's basically like they call it the Grand Canyon of the North. Uh, Letchworth State Park is just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous park. So anyhow, so that is that. Uh, let's see what else did I want to share with you guys real quick. I think that's it for right now. Solar's doing actually well. Yesterday, we had kind of a more overcast day, and we ended up pulling in, I think it was like 6.3 kilowatt hours for the day yesterday alone. Now, obviously, as you can see, and I'm going to kick this around again, very overcast right now. We're definitely going to be getting rain. But we're still pulling in decent power today. I don't even know what it's at, to be honest with you. But I know we're, we've done very, very well again power-wise today. Uh, it just, it's doing well. So, really happy with the new solar rack. It has been absolutely awesome. Um, somebody had asked, I know it's a long run because it goes from there, right now, from that spot, through here, under here, and into the building. Okay? But what we're going to be doing 
with this where the wires are coming up there we're eventually going to be building a building right there it's going to hold the charge controller the inverters the batteries everything's going to be right there so the run is going to be from here to there and then from there we'll have a, um, obviously the electric will run from there into the house that way so that is what's going on with that chickens are doing great uh, I haven't even checked for eggs yet today so I have to do that yet but uh, they, yeah they're doing great chickens are awesome so anyway guys that's it for now look for me tonight live ch uh, live stream eight o'clock be a really good discussion I think it's going to be really some good information for you guys because uh, you know it's uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on around the world and uh, so that will be fun uh, remember guys we are all in this together that's important to remember so don't forget about that and we got we got to work together that's really really important also remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So that is important as well. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? So remember that, and if you just follow along with that, you're going to be fine. Uh, work at things methodically, things happen. It's amazing how much you can get done in a short period of time. I hope everybody's having a great day. I will see you all tonight, 8 o'clock, live stream, okay? Eastern Standard Time. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. There's Mr. Maxi. Maxi, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Yeah? Are you a good boy?